Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and it's time for yet another uh, Let's Watch. Today we're going to be watching some ensemble videos. So some of my most popular videos on this channel that are Let's Watch related are ensemble videos because everybody loves a bit of ensemble. And if you want to submit content to the channel, make sure you go to adamtampercussion.com forward slash discord. That's the Studio Family Discord, a really fun server with a whole bunch of percussion people from around the world. North Texas Percussion Collective, Trey Clark, Corey Doran, Michael Jones, Nicole Robbins, Dr. Andrew Velt performs Kyoto by John Sathis. John Sathis. Kyoto is a very popular percussion quintet written by John Sathis. John Sathis. John Sathis is a New Zealand composer, aka our friends from the East. And it's a really popular competition piece because it's just really intense and really fun. I wish I could have played it at some point. I have watched it many times, both live and online. And I've even adjudicated it, but I never just... I think I just don't have any friends. <laughs> but yes, it's always nice to just capture more people playing ensemble and the different styles that people bring to the same pieces of music. I've seen Kyoto played so many different ways. Some people play it a bit on the slow side, some people play it really intense and they get super into it. So I'm interested to see how this one goes. Let's watch. Ah, would you look at that. It's marimba one instruments. <sighs> Well, the vibraphones are marimba one, but I'm pretty sure both of the marimbas are marimba one. I think the one on the right is a 3100. Yeah. This is a very tight setup. You can see the drums at the back is like tucked in right behind the two marimba players. And then the vibes are like literally squashed right in. I suppose it's to fit the aspect ratio of the video. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really cool setup. And the Glock is just like neatly slotted in there. Setups. Setups. Anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to watch this. Let's go. Good start. Great articulation on the river part. I think the music stand should be lower, as, you've, as I've always said on this channel. I feel like I can't really see the rivers at all because of the stands, but that's okay. We'll talk about that later. The balance is really good. I love this part. Vibe frame balance is really good. I think they're using the same balance on both sides as well, which is really clever. I like the articulation. Ooh! Let's go! I love how the murmurs drop down as well. Darker tones to let the vibe frame come out on top. Look at the cues. Uh, we got a kind of a different idea of pulsing across the ensemble, but it's still pretty good. You can see some head nodding. Nice, nice build. Ah, I love those toms. The tuning of the toms is nice. The triangle is beautiful too. Uh, did something happen there? I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're back though. Woo! I feel like they could have coordinated that cut a little bit better, like maybe frozen it together. Because they were some people were still moving some weren't, but yeah. Bass sounds so good. Remember one bass. <laughs> I'm so biased, sorry. Oh, that hand drumming is nice. The finger the finger sound is nice. Notice that they're trying to like they're releasing off the drum really high as well. It's great. Boom. Oh, a bit of squeak. The squeak, the squeak. I think it's just the angle of the bow. Or maybe it just needs a little bit more rosin. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Let's go. Ah, great build up. Okay, you guys should see what I mean. There's like a lot of cues. I feel if they could have frozen that moment in time, that would have been nice. I'll talk about more of it later. The toms. The 
Oh, sounds so good. I love the chords here. Sathis' writing is insane. It's honestly insane. Listen to that modulation. This is my favorite part. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. One of the forces I saw, the person missed the F and it was so awkward, <laughs> so it's good. It's good that he got it. Woo! Okay. Mm, Remembers could be a little bit more balanced, but it's, it's still pretty good. I think it might just be the recording process. And this is like the false ending. Everybody always thinks the piece is ending here. And then this is like a surprise. The river player could do with maybe tilting the mallets to make it even softer than that. Just for like some extra edge, some extra flair, but still pretty good. Yeah, see, it always sounds like the piece ends here. Finished. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> ah, got you. <laughs> I like that it has the false ending because it kind of makes the piece a little bit more like unexpected, a little bit more surprising. Which is what you want in most percussion music, especially music where the rhythm is kind of pushing along all the time. I like that they're all standing still though, that's good. No one's making any stray movements or like doing anything distracting as the music fades out. Hold. Ah, that's good. You see what they did at the end, how they just froze and they just held it and you could see, I, th I could feel like someone was counting one, two, three, four, five, like just to hold the tension, especially when you've just done such a hype piece, it's really easy to cut the endings short. So it's really nice. They really collected the atmosphere there. And yeah, generally speaking, a really, really great performance of Kyoto. Like accuracy was pretty much 99.5%, <laughs> I think. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this performance. This piece is really exciting for me because the harmonies are, well, they're, they're tonal, I guess, but they also just kind of throw you in unexpected directions. And the way Satis writes is just, I like to think of it as like if you had a Rubik's Cube and all the edges were kind of rounded and rounded and rounded until it kind of became this kind of like rainbow colored blob. <laughs> it's like you can kind of still identify the colors, but they're all in different places, if you know what I mean. But also not too elitist or too edgy. It's just really honestly smart, intelligent music. But anyway, about the performance, I think the balance was really good overall. I think it's really nice that they let the dominant parts shine when it was the right time here and there. Really small details, really like the whole idea of queuing together could be just improved a little bit more. It just seems like, yes, everybody seems to know where all the parts line up. So there weren't any discernible like timing issues or anything like that, but it's more just for the visual effect. And in this instance, it's still good, but it's just kind of like a little bit reserved. So I would have like to see a little bit more energy exhibited and then things like where there's those big freezes where everybody stops playing there's still like some queuing going on and there's still some like bouncing going on but it would be really cool as i've seen in other kyoto performances where everybody just like freezes and then comes back in with like a big breath or something it just gives it just a little bit more edge of unity but I love this piece. Honestly, I really wish I could play it and I really have to commend them for having such high accuracy and locking in with each other so, so well. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Let's move on to the next submission. Aaron Gaming. Hey guys, this is my high school. We are three-time national champions in the WGI Concert World Circuit. This was last year's show and it's truly incredible. Take a listen if you'd like. So the reason why I featured this one is because I haven't actually seen a WGI style performance in a concert hall setting. So this is what this one looks like, Fisher's Concert World. So I'm really excited to check it out. 
let's have a look. Okay, I guess this is what they mean by concert world. It's a whole bunch of rack instruments, a lot of front ensemble meaty instruments, but they're in a concert hall stage. So they're not in an indoor percussion stage like usual WGI stuff. And yeah, I mean, it all looks the same. Otherwise, you've still got an electronics person. You've still got a drum set. Like full disclosure, I haven't seen anything like this. So I'm really, really keen. Let's go. The essence of time. I'm gonna guess that at some point clocks are gonna appear in this performance. Like whether it's people holding up clocks or up. Oh, yep. <laughs> wow, is that the death note theme? <laughs> it literally sounds like the death note theme. Oh nice, finger symbols. This is high school? Wow. It's so together for high school. Oh, look at the freeze! Look at the freeze! It's got a really good groove. <laughs> what? Wow. Death Note theme goes hard, especially when the ensemble is so together. Well done. Oh, that contrast from that heavy hitting to all this nice soft metallic sounds. This is nice writing. I love the handbells. Wow, this sounds so cinematic. I love the attention to detail to all the stroke quality and everything. It's really great. And they're all looking around to check for the ensemble because there's no drum major, right? Yeah, no, they're all they're all checking each other. Nice. This is really complicated for high school. What? Okay. Oh, the phrase though! Wow, look at the ferocity in those snaps. That is attention to detail. That is truly attention to detail. This is a high school, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm actually shocked. Ah, oh, look at the builds and the loud to soft contrast is great. I'm sorry, this is a high school? Oh yeah, play that 4-4 four, four beat. What, the sudden tempo change? That was so smooth. I suppose the drum set kind of dictates the tempo immediately. I love the wood sounds. This is so complicated. What? How did... How is this a high school group? And it's all memorized too. I'm oh, so casual with the timpani. Ooh! These course riddles are so complicated. What the... I love the cowbell work. I love the cowbell work. I love the woodblock work. It's really, really clean. Wow, even the way they set up is like so into. <laughs> okay! Very stylish. I love the sweep ups. It's very, very stylish. Details. It's nice to see that the marching star runs like the scale runs and the lateral 1, 2, 3, 4s are not like the main centerpiece. Like this kind of thing. It's used as like texture, it's used as like filler, it's great. It's really refreshing. Well, the xylophone to kick things off. Never seen that before. <laughs> Look at this sweep! 
sweeps! Look at the sweeps! Look at the Tom Jones sweeps! Look at the sweeps! Look at that! Let them cook! Ooh! Oh, steel pan! I love steel pan! Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this gritting? What? Oh, this is so sick. Oh! <laughs> oh, the clocks have a wrap. Oh, that's so loud. That's so loud. What? How did they how did they sync that up? How did they sync that up? Oh, that was sick. That was actually sick. Like the fact that the, they stopped the clocks at the same time and that effect of just like in your face and then just sudden silence. Maybe that was achieved through video editing, I'm not sure, but even then, it's just such an effective maneuver and I'm sorry, I'm still in shock over what just happened. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that performance. That was insane. Really, really appealing to watch, but also really appealing to listen to. Amazing. I really love the sections with all the textural wood blocks and cowbells, and then how it suddenly became like a groove, and the semi quaver chopping, sorry, 16th note. So enthralling to see. And then the steel pan section. Like, pff, I don't even know what to say though. Like, that, <laughs> that steel pan section was nuts. Like, Loki, one of the best concert performances I've ever seen on this channel. Period. Easily. Uh, it's just so much attention to detail, so much care, and so much energy and intensity. I loved it. If you enjoyed it too, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you've already hit that red subscribe button below to keep up my uploads as I'm still uploading every single week on this channel. All kinds of content, including the new pieces that are coming out soon. I'll see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. Good night.